Hello, my name is Bruce Neubauer. This is for my students and, and others who may see it. I would like to speak for a few minutes now about how data moves across networks and the internet. Let's begin by thinking about old-fashioned telephones and how they were connected together. If we had two telephones in the whole world, it would be relatively easy to connect them to each other. We would simply run a wire or create a wireless connection between the two devices and be done with it. But this one-to-one -one direct connectivity is problematic. It doesn't scale well. You could do it with two telephones, three telephones, four telephones, but as the number of telephones or other devices increases on a network, the number of direct connections increases very dramatically. And so you can't just run wires between devices one-to-one -one and, and expect to be able to create a useful large network. The old-fashioned telephone switchboards in small towns were had operators who physically made the connections between phones within the small town. And this was doable up to a point, but only up to a point. So local networks have at least three major typologies. A typology is another word for design or architecture. There is the bus, the ring, and the star. And on the bus typology, all of the devices are attached to a wire or a frequency and this can work, but it's problematic and it doesn't scale well. If the, um, if the wire breaks, then the entire network is broken into two or more parts. Plus, there can be collisions of data transmission on the connection if more than one device is trying to send at a time. A ring typology is basically a bus connected back upon itself and there's something called token ring and the idea is that the token is an imaginary opportunity to carry data that circles around the ring and carries data from one device to another and is able to support all of the devices because it makes the circle very frequently. Again, if the wire is broken, then the entire network crashes because the token cannot get through. And then there's a star typology in which some kind of a central device, a hub or something, is connected to all of the other communications devices. This is a pretty good approach, but obviously if the hub fails, the entire network fails. So the challenge is a way to allow computers to share data with one another such that there is no single point of failure. Networks are too important to crash just because one thing is not working. A man named Tim Berners-Lee created the internet as we know it today and he addressed the problem that um, needed to be addressed. In order to create a network or a network of networks in such a way that if any part of it fails, 
what's left will still work. And that's a pretty remarkable achievement. Not many devices will continue to work no matter what part of them fails. So how does data move across a network or across the internet? Well, let me use the analogy of a log cabin. It's difficult to move a log cabin, a real log cabin. They're fragile and you can't just jack them up and back a truck up under them and haul them across town from one location to another. The way to move a log cabin is to mark every log with some kind of an identification, then to disassemble the log cabin to deliver each log from the old location to the destination, possibly taking different routes, and then to reassemble the log cabin using the identifiers on the logs to know how to put it back together again. Well, when data crosses a network or crosses the internet, it's a little bit like moving a log cabin. The entire communication, be it an email message or a picture or an audio file or a video file or something else must be reduced or, or um, not reduced but chopped up into little pieces on the communications card of the origin machine and these little pieces are called frames and the frames are sent across the network individually just as logs can be moved from one location to another individually. And just as the log cabin is reconstructed at the new site, the message or video or audio or whatever is reassembled at its destination. Another computer on the network at a distance from the machine that sent the data. The